Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, we're going to open up this episode with a, a quick foreword before we actually jump into everything because I feel that uh, it is owed, uh, a little bit of an explanation is owed for my rather sudden switch from being all about in the moment I, I want to pursue the quest that makes sense to pursue based on their story even if I I uh, don't suspect that they it's that necessary and also to touch a little bit on uh, the differences between just playing a game and trying to showcase a game so first of all it's the easy one to get out of the way as a let's player part of what I do is showcase the game now that's subtly different from just playing it just playing it is me doing things the way i would like to do them and ignoring the things that i usually wouldn't do in, in some uh cases in rpgs especially that means i might just ignore certain aspects of the game completely because it doesn't fit with what i'm building my character for or, or the feeling that i'm going for with my character um Whereas with Let's Playing, I like to try and at least touch on things like game mechanics, um, just to to showcase it and, and allow people um, to see what the game has to offer. Even if it's not a part of the game that I'm personally interested in, I like to at least touch on things a little bit. So understand that when perhaps I will go down a tutorial tree that might touch on topics and subjects that uh, in the the sense of the role play my character isn't interested in quite often that's because i'm at least wanting to show how the game works in that element now on to the the main topic though of uh, the shift in my focus now as many of you who are familiar with the channel and have seen me playing games before, you know that I'm not too keen on spoilers. I tend to live in the moment. I don't like having foreknowledge, um, especially of a game that has where, where the narrative and the story is integral to the experience of the game, such as with RPGs. That being said, I do appreciate that some people are extremely eager to help. And uh, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to know where the line between giving advice and giving a spoiler lies. Um, and as a general rule, I, I never assume malice in these sort of things. I always assume someone was trying to help out. And if someone has given me advice, I think it's kind of disingenuous to pretend I hadn't seen that advice and then feign a reaction uh, at some sort of plot point that unfortunately I have had spoiled for me and I have some foreknowledge of. Thankfully, by and large, uh, I, I feel that, you know, the whole thing of people aren't doing anything with, with malicious intent is generally true. And as such, the spoilers that I have received have generally been very mild spoilers, uh, more along the lines of you might want to be aware of this because this could have some um, far reaching ramifications, that sort of thing. Now, one of the spoilers that I had was that uh, whilst as a general rule, this game does have failure points on the main quest you can just take too long to do something or you can do something wrong or you can not talk to a certain person and that will fail that quest but the the, the whole game will continue on because it's a sandbox it, it's an open world game in a way um there aren't things that will specifically stop you from being able to complete the game from what i'm aware but there are certain things that will lock off certain branches and will force you down a certain certain path um i was made aware that what is about to happen, first and foremost, I was unfortunately made aware of what is about to happen, but also that time was not a factor in this one. It is on rails. It is scripted. No matter how long I took to get here, the outcome would be the same. For those who are watching this playthrough on multiple channels and have been curious because apparently every one you've watched has dilly-dallied around the same sort of time, and so you're not aware of whether coming here immediately would have made any uh, difference, apparently it would not have. However, I was also made aware of something which isn't particularly visible through the game. Um, honestly, I was a little bit more disappointed about this spoiler than any other. And that is that uh, the Miller's Quest, Peshek, that is definitely timed. You can absolutely take too long to do that one. And if you do, bad things start to happen. Um, so I decided, oh, well, you know, I've been given this information. I'll use it because to, to waste the information is, is kind of silly. But... Uh, Yes, that's why I went back and I, I wasn't too um, rushing over here, even though 
um, our Lord Radzig did express that we should probably uh, get a move on and get here as quickly as possible. That being said, I am not aware of anything else so far. Again, the spoilers that I were given were more spoilers as as a, a side effect rather than the intent. People were just trying to make sure I was aware of some things that the game didn't make very clear or to uh, to just fore, forewarn me of, of certain um, things that I might be confused by. Uh, so there we are. That's that's the forward. Sorry it took a little bit of time to get through it, but uh, I noticed there are a couple of people in the comments on the last two episodes who were a little bit confused by the sudden shift and, and perhaps even a little disappointed because they were hoping to see, oh, well, does this change if someone who's kind of playing the game to get there and, and respond to, you know, quote unquote, urgent things in a sensible manner. And then I then I just suddenly had a shift of gears without much warning. Um, so hopefully that has explained the situation and also reassured those of you who are enamored by the idea that the game can and will, you know, not put, uh, you know, pull the rug from under your feet if you waste time and don't do something that you probably should do. It's just in this case, it seems that they put a lot of effort into the, this part of the story, and so giving you a way around it, that's kind of what I was touching on in the last episode. Sometimes if a developer has put a lot of effort into a, a series, or like a quest chain, yeah, probably doesn't want you just moving around it. Props to them if they do allow it, though. Props to them if they're like, yeah, we put a load of amount of effort here, cutscenes, voice acting, all of that, but you know what? We'll let the player just do what they want. If they can get around it, sure, fine. Um, I do massively appreciate that, but I also understand that when you've spent an awful lot of money on something, you kind of want to see it get used. Right. Now, what's going on over here? Now, I, just again, whilst I am aware that this event was inevitable, I know nothing about this place. I don't know the specifics of the event, except uh, that, yeah, the getting here quickly was not going to change the fate of that bandit that we were trying to get here quickly for. Don't I look dapper in my leggings? Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. If that's what you call nothing to see, I'd like to know what something to see looks like. You sure? Be careful what you wish for. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and... I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. I thought it was Uzits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Uh-oh. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Oh dear. Oh wow. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, Sakra. What does that oh, mean? Nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Oh, thank you. That's actually rather... Well, I guess it's self-serving in a way. He's like, yeah, well, it's your problem now, but at the same time. Um, the, the, the trope would have been that, no, no, I, I don't want you around here. Uh, this is my town, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wow, my helmet suddenly out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, I, I was not prepared for that. I, I realized that, that Lubosch was not going to be alive when I got here. Again, the spoiler was uh, not so much a spoiler, but a bit of advice to just spoil things um, as a side effect. But uh, that looked ritualistic. That did not look like someone was just killed to quiet them. That was either sending a message 
or something darker. Uh, okay, so who was Limpy Lubosh? Who was Limpy Lubosh? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Okay. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept really? company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Yeah, there's punch-ups and then there's being ceremoniously eviscerated. I think these things that tend to be so far apart on the scale that you don't really measure them on the same scale anymore. That, that would just be an outlier to your data set. Uh, my goodness, if this is how you treat this kind of thing, I don't even want to know what else goes on here. Um, why did he limp? Because, what, what a stupid question. But uh, maybe, actually, it could, it could pertain to how he got the limp. Okay. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Okay. So you don't know about it. All right. Uh, did he have any cronies, any allies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, that is no. not what that text said. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. See, this, this is the thing. You know, cronies, to me, wouldn't be kin. Kin is kin. Cronies is more underlings, but okay. Um... Where was he on the night the Neuhoff was raided? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhoff raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not making anything easy. And uh, do you know anything? Uh, know about anything suspicious other than you know one of the people in your city was was ritually murdered? Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? I don't. Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time, but he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Okay. When was the body found? When did you whom? find the body? And did anyone see anything? Oh, you. Okay. Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Well, they kill him first and then they gut him. I'm assuming that, that we don't have the means to easily tell right now that which one came first? Well, actually, you would be able to tell because of the way the blood would move. But, um, like, for example, if someone slit his throat and then gutted him, it would depend quite a lot on where the blood was, um, the, the the look of the wounds. Uh, you could probably tell. But that that is more of an aside. But okay. Ah, my goodness. I mean, Henry's no, no stranger to being able to kill someone in their sleep without them being able to make much noise. That sounds bad. Uh... They were bad people, they deserved it. Uh, right. Hello, villager. Good health to you. And to you. Can you tell me anything about Lubosh? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I think everyone knows him. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. Thank you very much, good sir. Uh, who was this Lubosh who was murdered? To that you. man Lubosh who was murdered. What was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Or horse. Or dog. Especially not the dogs. Honestly, if you had the choice, eh, I might, I might give the dog the quick... If, you, if I was in a position where I had to choose eviscerate a man or eviscerate a dog, uh, I, I'm not saying I would automatically pick the dog, but it would be a difficult choice. I, I would have to think on it for at least a couple of seconds, which would probably feel like an eternity. And I'm not at all certain which way I would go towards the end. I guess it depends on the person and the dog. If it was one of my dogs, well, you know, that's that's fairly fairly cut and dry case. Even if the man to be eviscerated would be me. Uh, have you noticed? Uh, okay, I, I might I might say there that I probably couldn't eviscerate myself. But I'd be able to choose someone else to do it. But I'm fairly certain my instincts aren't completely dead uh, when it when it comes to self-preservation. I'm fairly certain that I wouldn't be able to eviscerate myself over a dog. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Okay. And what was Lubosh doing on the day of the Neuhoff raid? Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. That's fair enough. I mean, you know, you might not know. This looks like a fairly big town, so it's not going to be like everyone is in each other's pockets like it is in a smaller settlement. 
Um, yeah, actually, a good good question. Did did they did he have a? Um, a Do you know anyone Lubos used to spend time with relatives or friends? Oh, okay. Just he was a thing. loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. I I, I see. I was reading a little bit more into the word seeing there. That's, that's possibly a, a, a Welshism, I'm not sure. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, though. Right, who's up next? Uh, a trader? Yeah, sure. Let's talk to a trader. They tend to have uh, Good health ears to you. in... Uh, in or rather, uh, fingers in, in lots of pies. Ears to the ground, that kind of thing. Can you tell me anything about Lubosh? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre Please in don't Neuhoff, say that every time. now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but to ask all you want. Thank you. Who was Lubosh? That man Lubosh who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. All right. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. Oh, okay. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sins too dark for God's mercy. Mm, I think that depends on, on, on the particular branch of Christianity that you're following, but uh, that's interesting. I was a little bit worried that every one of these people would say exactly the same thing, just based on the fact that Henry was saying exactly the same thing, but that was that was useful. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. Very well. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with, relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but... He never said much. Hmm. That's okay. all. Thank you. Uh, so no family, no particular friends. Um, I notice no one's really saying anything about enemies, though, either. Hello, villager. God be with you. And with you. I have no idea what those beads are on the, the villagers' necks. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. Please, please, Henry, no. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhoff, and now a murder here as well. I'm only checking this because... Can I ask you a few questions? It of may course. be possible that, uh, that there are some hidden options. No. I'm going to just assume then... That's all. ...that when Thank you. a dialogue option that leads to more dialogue options is grey, then the game is also telling me that every other option behind it is also grey, and thus I don't need to hear it again. Uh, hello? I'll speak to all of them just to see. Good day to you. What do and you need? To you. Uh, answers. Uh, training, apparently. Horse riding? How I'd like much? you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. How much would it I'd cost? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Probably way more. Well, actually, I might be able to haggle that down, but uh, maybe another time. Maybe I another need to, time. I need to make some sales first. need to make a little bit of money before I can do that, but, uh, okay. Well, oh, a Vashek! There is that villager. Uh, there's me. Uh, head groom. Okay. Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed. Oh. Uh, any work available any work around here? here? You Enough know. for a dozen men. You could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What oh, happened? Nice. Did he do something wrong? Just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach. No, no, Pie was our fastest stallion. Oh, right, okay. A lovely dappled one. <laughs> oh, well, that's bad news. How did uh... Vashek manage to lose him? He fell, banged his head, and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse. And then Pie took off at a gallop. Uh, I'll try and find Pie. Well, I can't take Vashek's job, but I can try to find your Pie. That would be nice of you. If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. I was too livid to even speak to him. Right. Well, as it happens, that's like right next to me. So, I guess... Hello, Vashak? Uh, the horse that bolted. How's the head? So even strangers know my shame. Come on, then. Come and take a closer look at Vashak the blockhead. 
Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, mate. I'm not here to mock you. I'm not here to mock. So what is it you want? To help. I promised the head groom that I'd look for a pie. Well, good luck with that. I've been searching half the day. Although I have been seeing did double since that bang on the head. So it's possible I missed no, something. I didn't know she did that. Mm, fair enough. She only uh, describe pie to me. Can you describe pie Always in the evening. Well, um, there's still a bit of long life. face. She sits down, really? Four on. legs. Really? And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. <sighs> you did get quite the bang on the head. You did hit your head you hard, didn't you? There. Yes. Anyway, I Why? A couple of <laughs> I asked you to describe pie. Not every horse in the world. The one I buy good. Sorry. He's he said right away he'll dappled grey, a stallion, and he's really fast. Well, now, so that won't help you much. Quite the opposite. Myself, but I wasn't sure Betty would even uh, want to sell them. Where did you lose Pie? Where did you fall off Pie? Price. And he Just says, south of here, fine. between the fields and the woods, the there's a crossroads there where four paths meet. Just like it was around there. Four oh, paths. So we he's could have gone anywhere. Skin. Now you see my problem. And what did Betty have to say? Fair enough. She was well pleased uh, when did this happen? When was that? More when I told her Tonda will take In the morning. Then That's I stayed great. about for a while, a feeling as rough as a boar's ass. I was glad to stagger back here in the end. I imagine you, that, that gladness melted away once uh, the head groom got a hold of you. Fine. I'll go and look for him. Thanks. If you find him, the groom might go easier on me. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. Well... Pies used to take in the bridal waist, so I'd keep to those. That's okay. useful. Fair Thanks. Uh, right, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> all good. You walked into me, don't you even start. Uh, Pavel, you're a named NPC. Let's have a chat. Good health to you, sir. And to you, Pavel. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, how about Marish? Ah, can you tell me anything about Lubash? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lightburn. Oh, my Lord Henry, please. I'm investigating the massacre Everyone in Neuhoff, this. and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Even if they did the first time, they heard it the second I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. I'm afraid I must. Uh, who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Wise, have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked okay. to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Okay, two characters are pointing us towards the church. Uh, what was Lubosch doing the, the day... The do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. And who did he meet with? Do you with? know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. Well, that's rather tragic. That's uh, all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? No, I think everyone else cleared off now. Um, perhaps I can have a word with you again, though. Let's have a quick chat. My respects to you. And to you. Another thing about Lou Bosch. Ooh, new level of speech. No, I don't have any other options, unfortunately. And now that one is great. Okay. Very well. Can I head in? Hopefully I can. Ooh. What is that saying over there? Don't don't mind me. Nothing suspicious here. Right, you are properly visited. But what's this? Travel? Oh, no, wait. Well... Actually, first and foremost, aside from me trying to, to read it, I, I shouldn't right now. Um, but someone wrote this. That is the more important thing. Someone wrote something on the wall in a time where literacy was fairly uncommon. Now, that's important for two reasons. Whoever wrote it could write, and whoever wrote it put it here knowing that the vast majority of people wouldn't be able to read it so it was put here for a reason so i need to narrow down my search to the people who could now that's an inscription in blood it's a pity i don't know how to read looks like they wanted to give someone a warning but who hey, mm. and a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you <laughs> see every day damn it uh henry get out of my head but that's actually uh pretty cool that's a lot of they did a hell of a job on him 
Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Well, you certainly was alive when it was done. That's kind of gruesome, but... Uh, let's have a look around. Uh, let's inspect. I'll actually, close the door first so that I'm not constantly looking at that. Let's have a look around for clues. I'm not looking to open things. Why Nothing unusual. Stuff? Really? A bed. A bed. Anything else? I opened something, apparently. Uh, mm, I want to say no to a couple of apples. Oh, apparently I won't say no to everything that was in there. No, no, genuinely, I just want the apples. In fact, I just want the apples, only the apples, so much. I'm going to put the other things back. Uh, let's see. Don't want the bread. Oh, well, the whole radish at the, at the least. Let's move that back in there. There we go. And the radish. Uh, yeah, and the bread too. There we go. Apples are too useful. Apples are a way for me to restore my health. And on that note, uh, what's my nourishment? 87. Good, good, good. Now, apples, two for two. So, one for one, effectively. So, let's gobble this down. I can eat a decent amount of them. And it should heal me up. Uh, does this have any healing? No, none at all. This one, none at all. I, you know, I do need to have a look at what else we've got here. As much as I don't want to. That does offer health. That does not. That one does. Uh, okay, so we're going to take everything that is reasonably low... Uh, oh, sorry, a reasonably good um, ratio of health versus nourishment. Okay, that's fine. These are desperate times. I'm not going to solve any murders if I'm if I'm dead. So, uh, unfortunately, this is going to fill up. I'm going to have to stop there, otherwise I'm going to get too full. All right, let's close this off. Now, what else have we got in here? Is there anything else I can inspect? Maybe I can sit down at the very least. Don't need to. What are those lines on the screen all the time? Uh, I, well, I've got a fairly good idea of what they are. They're, they're uh, geometry for rendering, but uh, odd that they're visible. Anything in here? No. I wish there was a way that I can inspect the pot, frankly, because that would be useful to me. Uh, I could see maybe if it was poisoned. I'd explain why no one heard him screaming if he was basically in a in a paralyzed stupor. Right, what else we got in here? We've got a chest. It might be worth me looking mm, at. Nothing here. Uh, yes, apples. Ooh, cheese. No. Horseradish. Carrot. How about cabbage? New. No. Don't need that kind of nourishment. Nope. I wish it was a little bit more obvious what I was looking in. Ooh. Find me. Tastes good. Warms and fortifies you. Schnapps, I'll take. Oh, the wine is not too bad. Uh... Oh, wait. That wasn't save your schnapps, was it? No, never mind. I don't actually need it. I do. Yeah, I, I do wish it was a little bit more obvious I was looking at the whole rack, but that's what I'm guessing I was doing. Right. Time for us. Let's quickly pick this lock and find out if there's anything else in there. We are not doing this to rob a dead man. We're doing this because there may be clues. No, no, nothing at all in there of any value. And again, like I said, not doing it to rob, rob the, uh, to pillage the dead. We need to know what went on here. It might have been nice if we had found quite a lot of wealth there, because that could have been a motivation, though. Honestly, if I had found wealth, it may have created more questions and answers, simply because if someone came here, killed him, didn't steal the money, then... It, I mean, we already know that there's some, some very specific um, reason for this kill. The the writing on the wall was, was a big enough reason for that. Um... I'm reasonably happy with myself, though, for, for noting something important that the game then thought was so important, it went out of its way to tell us, even if you hadn't noticed it, it was going to make sure that you did. That is, that, I'm, I'm genuinely quite impressed with myself for that one. Right, uh, nothing in the uh, wash bowl there. What about down here? Nope. Anything at all? 
What was all all of this? His? I can't imagine it was actually. That was his house, but hmm, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, let's have a look at our quests right now. Find out more about Limpy Lubosh. I'll have to ask around if anyone knows more about this Limpy Lubosh. Maybe I'll learn something useful. I should ask Ujit's priest, uh, parish priest. So, so may go straight to the priest, I guess. But I'm going to continue talking to people around the town. I think that's probably going to be wise. Also, I definitely want to sell some of the items I've got. I desperately need the money. Uh, there's a lot of training that can be had right now. Hello. Can you tell me anything about I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lycan. Oh, my lord. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Thank you. Who was Lubosh? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast, and lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. All right. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why, of course. Well, I think it's very clear that our next point, port of call will be the, the, the church. Everything is pointing there. But I think it's probably wise us talking to as many people who have something new to say at the very least. And as we cover all of these different things that people are saying, we're going to very quickly get to the point where I can just look at the... Uh, open up a dialogue, I'll see it's great, and then I can back out. So don't worry too much, but we'll be thorough. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was Never raided? Never know what you'll get from What there. do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Hmm, okay. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately, he started talking to the parish priest of all people. Oh, That's thank all. you very much. Thank you. God bless. Indeed, you too. Uh, this is not going to be an easy time of things, Pebbles. Hello. Right. Uh, this is probably... Well, I, you know what? I, I doubt this is even their house. Yeah. A lot of these areas, if I... They're not for me. They'd be for the sort of person who wants to rob everything. Not saying that I've never been that person. There may well have been a time in uh, Skyrim where maybe I was the kind of character that, if it wasn't nailed down, in fact, even if it was, if it wasn't nailed down really well and possibly tethered as well, and maybe had some sort of magical curse on against people trying to lift it, then I was going to steal everything. Nothing was sacred. And, uh, yeah, that's not Henry. Or at least that's not my Henry. Uh, right, Is someone there? Uh, yes, as evidenced by the clippity-clop of my horse. What do you mean, is someone there? Hello. Good day to you. Good day to you, as well. Okay, you can't tell me anything. Just as well. How about you? I'll be with you. And with you. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Uh, looks like this is uh, the dyers then. Or uh, dyers, the, the tanners rather. Are you after something? I, I don't even know how to respond to that, other than with a blank stare. All right, let's carry on then. Right, let's have a look at the, the map. Maybe we can get a little bit of information. Yeah, we're, we're on the outskirts of the town. There's probably a significant amount of... Ooh, unexplored place. Hmm, maybe I should go and explore it. But uh, there's going to be just just homes and stuff around here. We'll, we'll head our way in towards the middle and find out uh, what there is to find out. Uh, probably going to end up uh, checking out a couple of shops at the very least. I do like the, the design of this area, though. It feels so authentic. Look at that. That's just pretty. So pretty. Fast travel point discovered. Hooray! Uh, that's not where I'm going to go. What? Uh. Who's calling the thief? Uh, 
I'll go in and find out. Hello? I'm coming. I'm down. I don't even know where you are. I have no idea who was shouting that. It was generally over in this direction, I thought, but... That's kind of cool, though. I mean, we're not taking part in it, obviously, but... Uh, it was kind of cool that that was even a thing here. Pebbles, can you... Trot a little bit faster? Oh! Yes! That's right! Pebbles! I'm so sorry! I completely forgot. I completely forgot that uh, I had, in fact... Kind of... I'd make you faster, but also slower in, in a kind of uh, strange turn of events. Uh, we need someone we can trade first and foremost, because Pebbles definitely needs to uh, offload somewhere. So that'll be the church. We've got a shop over here. I could perhaps sell some of my cooked meat. Uh, the baker. What we really need to do is find someone I can sell ways to, though. Are there any other shops down in this general direction? Uh, looks like the church is getting a bit of refurbishment. What's this then? A grocer. Mm, maybe. That might be uh, someone that we want to go talk to. Anyone else around? Keep an eye out for shop signs. And I could wash myself off for that as well. Okay, we've gone, gone the whole way here. Uh, sure, we'll pop into the grocer, see what we can sell. I've at least got some... Um, rabbit meat that I would like to sell myself, so. Okay, then. Uh, that being said, I assume I would need to go straight over there. Right, before I do, though, let's have a quick look. What, what are you holding on to right now for me? Mostly a lot of meats and the likes. Uh, sure, okay, I'll move all of that to my inventory. Um, that'll do for now. Let's go and see if the grocer wants to buy some of this. Hopefully they do. Hello? Hello? I have come to trade. Uh, I, I mean, I should probably also talk to you about Lubosh, but for now, trade. Alright. We will sell all of the hair meat. Every single one. Bump. All of the cooked hair meat, all of that bomb. Um, really, I can sell these. Interesting. I could perhaps sell the schnapps. Uh, it's not worth a small amount, so sure, okay. There we are. Will you take anything else? You will not. That's fine. It's okay. I accept it. Uh, very well. Let's see if we can't haggle this a bit. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. Oh, that's the first time that someone has been... Uh, uh, oh, you don't... Ah. I see. Uh, hmm. Let's cancel this right now. Uh, I wasn't aware that you had such limited funds. I should have paid attention to that. Yeah, you've only... I've got 54 representation. You've only got 40. Um, 40 money, so... Yeah. Let's get rid of the regular hair meat first, then. There we are. And then just... Well, I suppose that isn't too far off. Uh, I can't get all of that, so let's pull back some of the hair meat. We'll take it back 13. There we are. That's much better. Let's much, have a word better. about the price. Sure, why not? There we are. Ah, that's, that's why you were uncertain about that. I'm going to try and get a fair chunk of your cash here. Is this enough? I'd almost check on that. Almost. All right. Well, I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. All right, so. Fantastic. Thank you very much. 
Okay, well that's one little bit done. I'm taking a little bit of the weight off pebbles, though not too much. Uh, let's be on. Oh, that's all we needed to do. My lord. Got rid of a little bit of weight and suddenly we're flying around the place. Uh, bakers. No. No, not for now. Maybe later, but not right now. But the inn... What other stores have we got? Ooh, hello. Uh, discovered another grocer. How about you, good fellow? Uh, I've discovered the pillory. And over here, just a regular trader. Okay, now this is the individual that I would like to speak with. A word with you. Alright, I would like to grab all of the stuff of pebbles right now. The dog skins. Yep. Decorated silver goblet, cowhide, boarhide, cobwebs. You know what? I'm going to keep hold of those because they seem to me like they would be something that I would use for um, alchemy. It's going to be my guess. I'm also going to grab these hunter's gloves. Uh, anything else we want to grab? Um, no, I, actually, I'm. Fairly happy. Well, I, I guess I could sell this, thinking about it. Yeah, all right. Oh, no, come back. Come back. I'm not done with you. Garlic, that will cure all ailments and onions. That will make you cry when you cut them and cry for joy when you taste them. Uh, fair enough. Good day to you. What do you need? What? What? I have no idea. Uh, nevertheless, oh, you only sell... Alright, well, not perfect, but I guess I can at least get rid of some of this. You've got 40 monies, sure. Uh, that's, well, since you seem to like onions so much, I think that's all we're going to do. Sure, let's get rid of all of that if we can. Can we do something about the price? Always, Why not? we can always do something about the price, Henry. I can always get a little bit more out of them. Uh, sure, let's be a little bit more aggressive with this one. Satisfied? Less. Okay, very unsatisfied. And over the halfway mark, okay. Let's go for 16.5. I'll get one Three. more chance. That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Okay. You know what? Sure, we'll go with that. I'll go for that. That perk is going to come in super handy. Uh, okay, well, perhaps this place is the... Ah, right, okay, this is the actual trader. That was just the grocer that we discovered. Fair enough. Hello. We need Jesus to Jesus Christ be things. praised. Indeed. Oh, I like your, your clothing, my lord. Right, now then, this is where we can sell many, many things. First, the boar hides. You've got a decent chunk of wealth. So, let's try and relieve you of a lot of it. Uh, uh, legally, before you, you you start making any comments. Uh, right, I would like to get rid of uh, this. I'm afraid the green felt hat is also going to have to go. Uh, as beautiful as it was, it, it wasn't wasn't quite good enough. Uh, Alright, we're now trading for a fairly hefty sum. I could probably squeeze a little bit more out here. So, I'm going to take this out, take that out. There we are. I think that gives me a bit of headroom to haggle. There we go. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. I really like that, that doublet you've got there, my lord. All right, 180, please. What about this? All of your monies. That sounds pretty interesting. A little less, and I'll be satisfied. Okay. Uh, can I can I move this in smaller increments? Because I really wish I could. I super wish I could, but all right, fine. Is this enough? Close. Drop the price a bit more, and we'll shake on it. Uh. No. My last offer. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. I said last offer. Ah, fine, whatever. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Uh, 
Okay, well, at least now I know that I can um, just double down on a price without changing it. Because they did it to me. So, it seems to uh, make sense that I'd be able to do it there. Right, we found a couple of places. We've got a tavern there, a quest, a tipster. And we've also got an unexplored place. We'll check out the unexplored place. In fact, we've got an unexplored place over there. I would like to get as much information uh, about everything around here before we we go any further. Uh, let's move that over to Pebbles. Have we got anything else we want to move over to Pebbles? Yeah, we actually do want to move over the, the dog skin as well. Um... I think that's really some of the only only stuff we have to move. We've got a decent bit of cash now. We could start taking lessons again, which I'm very pleased about as it happens. Uh, combat skills. Where's my... Well, hunting is there. Where's my speech? We're going to get another perk. I have no idea when we'll get another perk. But... We might be able to see a couple of interesting things there. Right, Pebbles, got a little bit more exploration to do. And then we're going to knuckle down and start talking to the people that the, the game really wants me to talk to. Can I, can I have a word with you? Can I, can I talk with you at all? At all? Come hither, you! There we are. Jesus Christ be praised. Indeed. No, nothing for you to say. Okay, well, I'm going to assume that unless someone appears to be an important character with a name other than a villager, they're not really going to have anything to say. Though I may um, canvas everyone at the bar, because that seems like everyone was mentioning the bar. Ooh, the scribe. Okay, and I've got a little bit of cash in the pocket too. Good times. Uh, where would the door be to go in? I mean, I can see there's a door around there, but... That looked more like the back of the, the building rather than the front. There? No, no, I guess it's not. Uh, well, before I do anything then, there was one last place out here, wasn't there? Uh, oh, no, I've, I've gone completely the wrong way. Never mind. Pebbles, cross country. Ah, it's fantastic to have a horse. There we are. Straight to there. Now then, what have we got over here? We have got... What be you? Uh, no, genuinely, what be you? Let's just head down here and find out. Oh, archery, okay. Discover the archery range. Hmm. Interesting. Um, in case you are someone who can train me in archery, I'm not going to talk to you just yet because I will be then conflicted with trying to learn how to read. And this is extremely important to me right now. I feel that reading is is integral to us being able to solve quests. Also, alchemy. Hello, Bailiff. Don't mind me. Just doing the rounds, you know. Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ, be praised. Indeed. Uh, okay. I, oh, I can trade with you. Let's le learn to read first. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Marvelous. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. I think we can do that. Uh, we can get started. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, what? if indeed time is of the essence. Uh, whew. Couple of days? Well, you know what? Of course it's going to take a couple of days. I'm learning to read. Oh, why? What part of this did I think was going to be super easy? I mean, on the plus side, I guess Limpy Lubosh isn't going anywhere. Yeah. I am going to go for this because I feel that it's going to be helpful in this quest. Um, and again, in terms of the roleplay, the the urgency was to get here before he was dead. He's dead. So at this point, anything that can help me follow the trail is now of a higher priority 
than 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 speed necessarily. Uh, I mean, you know, it could go either way. Obviously, the trail is going to get colder the longer it takes. But uh, sure, here you Area go. Fifty groschen. Then we may as well start. Excellent. I have learned no. scribe. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. This is a lovely little cutscene. I'm actually learning to read. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. Filthy gloves on a book. Oh, my lord. So, let's see you read a bit. You've There's reached a book here on the table. Down. Try to read it. Will I manage? Okay. You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Okay, I've, I've got to take the book. Um, all right. Oh, I like that. It's messing with the, the character. I once um, created a... Uh, well, it was more for talking uh, in a multiplayer game that I, I uh, wrote where... Uh, it was all text-based. It was, it was a MUD, a uh, multi-user dungeon. And the... Characters could be of different races, and different races had different languages. And so you could go one way, where you would just have a... Um, you would just have, like, it would do a check based on the difficulty of the word, perhaps based on how long the word was, and it would just substitute characters for random characters, or even just um, use asterisks, so it was clear that you couldn't understand it. Uh, but I actually, I, I went for a different different route. Uh, because, you know me, I always make everything much more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, I actually fed the program just random reams and reams of text so it would learn how common words were uh, in English uh, and it, it built up th this idea of uh, you would learn the common words first like for example you would be much more likely to know how to say yes no please thank you up down left right forward back before you learned how to say disestablishmentarianism and so I, I actually just fed this thing ridiculous amounts of text. Thankfully, the internet exists. Uh, and so it very quickly built a massive lexicon weighted by how common the words were. And then based on your skill, it would let you see whole words because it was much less common that you would just only, you would look through a word letter by letter, especially when it was a spoken word. And uh, that's another way of doing it. It was uh, computationally, well, not very expensive, but uh, as the lexicon got big, it did actually take time to to pass through the whole lexicon when when people were talking. So I had to uh, create some uh, improvements and optimizations to make it work a little bit faster. But I, I was actually quite pleased with that. Um, one day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there an egg, all yellow and um, glittering. There we go. When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and he was going to throw it away, because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it uh, home on second thoughts, and soon found, to his delight, that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning, the same thing occurred, and he soon became rich by selling his, his, egg, his eggs. Oh, that's fantastic. His eggs. As he grew rich, he grew greedy, and thinking to get... At once, all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it, only to find nothing. Well, what a fool he was. What a fool he was. I very well. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Don't cut open geese. There was something about some fellow and a goose. I need to read it again. That being greedy doesn't pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented really? pupils. Wow. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. <gasps> like I told you, Marvelous. books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. Especially to fully sharp. learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Okay. Now we'll move on to the second lesson which will be much harder. Oh. Many books are written in Latin, Hooray. the language of erudite and religious men. That's fine. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. 
you need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed okay. the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. In, in, in fairness, manage. that does seem like a, a rather sharp and sudden escalation, but okay. Is this the book I need to read? You know what? Why am I not sitting down instead of standing on the bloody bench? There we go. Ah, and we have some sort of buff right now. Let me uh, actually quickly check. You know what? This is frustrating me. It's horribly frustrating me. Take off your gloves, Henry. You do not touch books with muddy gloves. But, uh, buffs. Reading spot. You're in a good place to read a book. Reading will be fast and you will learn more from your books. Marvellous. Uh, though before I do anything else, reading, uh, third level and up, we get perks. Colleague, all books are cheaper in shops. In the flow, when reading, you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Art connoisseur, the first time you look at a, a fresco, cross or wayside shrine, your charisma will be increased temporarily. Oh. Magistrate, being well learned, you make a better impression on people and get a plus one to speech when trying to persuade a guard. Uh, your level of study of the books you've read most will advance automatically while sleeping or skipping time. Oh. Cushion, if you're sitting comfortably, you get a double reading bonus. Okay, that's a swat, really. Doesn't matter to you where you read, you get a learning bonus anywhere you read. And cartographer, the whole map is revealed to you, showing all settlements, hunting spots, and caves. Hmm. Interesting. Seems that uh, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, let's have a quick read. Uh, da -da 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 Okay, well, I can't easily see what the... I mean, I, mean, I guess the gimmick is, is the same then, okay. Uh, I was expecting something a little bit more full-on for the gimmick with uh, with Latin, but maybe I was overthinking it. Oh, wow, quite well. I read the page. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Uh, <laughs> I I completely did not uh, properly look at it, but uh, we'll go with this one. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus, uh, ut non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Aha! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. I have actually. Excellent. Say. Well. There's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Uh, Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. <laughs> That's quite sweet. But, uh, okay, wow, we actually leveled all the way. That was that was bloody amazing. Uh, I must say, but yes, I, I did actually study. Uh, in my school, Latin was a compulsory. Latin, the same with classical studies and geology and things like that. Uh, right, kind of, kind of, uh, Wales, uh, it's an old country with old, old traditions, and that also spreads into the curriculum. Uh, right, reading, oh, colleague or in the flow, ooh, well, I mean, hmm, I'm not sure which is going to really pay into things, I'm going to hold off on that unless I really want to buy something, uh, let's actually have a quick chat. Talking about trade. Evil morals in Bohemia. Maiden's War. Old Father Czech. On Prague. On Simony. On the Admites. On the Papal Schism. On Tournaments. Prima. Prima 2. Rule of St. Benedict II. Well, I do not want any of them, but it's good to know. And let's, let's have a look. A skill book on reading. Hmm. A skill book on reading. Could only be right. Ah. On tournaments and nightly jousts. How two pontiffs fought over the papal throne and what it meant for Christendom. Oh, I'm liking this. Some of them are skill books, but it looks like some of them are just history. That's good. That's really good. I will take the skill book, though, but uh, no, no, I approve of that. I am going to definitely hack it with you. Let's um, talk about the price. Actually, don't be dumb. Why not? Don't be dumb, Henry. Well, I can easily afford 54 groschen. It's a lot, but I can easily afford it. I don't know what the benefit of the reducing hunger. Like, how much time am I really going to spend reading the book? That 
It feels like there's a mechanic there because it seems too obvious otherwise. So let's be aggressive with this. I would like to put it down to 47. Is this enough? This is not aggressive for some people. Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Um, you did say a little more. See now, I knew we'd Fantastic. come to an agreement. Marvellous. I approve. Actually, thinking about it, I kind of wish I'd given him money rather than haggled him down. Yeah, th this man taught me how to read. Or put another way, this ta man taught me how to write my name. How can you put a price on being being taught how to write your own name? Man, I want to go back and buy something and just give him ridiculous amounts of money. Okay, when we go back for for the second book of this, I am going to, by then, be extremely wealthy with all of the, the money that I've earned from being able to read. And I am going to make him extremely wealthy. Well, actually, probably he's very wealthy. He's a scribe. Um, I am going to share... A lot of my wealth. Even though it might be trivial to him, it will be a lot to me, and hopefully the sentiment will count. But again, how can you put a price uh, on on being taught how to write your own name? I mean, come on, there are some things, some things that are just beyond value. But with that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. In the next, we are going to uh, check out the tavern and then check out the church over there because uh, it seems everything is fairly close by but that is going to be it from me so i really do hope you've enjoyed this episode i know we had a bit of a bit of a slow start because i wanted to cover um all of that stuff at the beginning for i think it was like five minutes which is far too long but you know, i wax uh, verbose on occasions but uh let's not wax verbose on the outro so thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time but until then do take care everyone